A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Rectorial Benefice of Canton. I think that's the last time I'll be saying from the Rectorial Benefice of Canton because by next week we will be part of the ministry area of West Cardiff. Now, um, today is the feast of St John, Apostle and Evangelist, um, which is obviously a very special day for um, for all of us who uh, go to St John's Church, as well as those of us from our uh, our sister churches in Canton um, who who celebrate with us and share our joy on this day. Now, whether or not John the Apostle and John the Evangelist are one in the same, uh, we don't know. But the church honours uh, the one who proclaims Jesus as the word made flesh and who is the disciple whom Jesus loved. Jesus was there. Uh, sorry, John was there at the transfiguration of Jesus on the holy mountain. John was there at the Last Supper. He was with Jesus in his agony in the garden and he was with Jesus and his mother standing at the foot of the cross. John witnessed Jesus' resurrection. He saw and he believed. John was a witness to the word. He proclaimed the word and he lived and died witnessing to the word made flesh. Jesus Christ, who loved him. And our New Testament reading today reminds us of Jesus' commandment that we love one another and that we care for our neighbour. And as we prepare at the end of this week, to cease becoming the benefits of Canton, and together we become part of something bigger. Let us carry with us the joy and blessing of the relationships that we've built up as a benefice, and give thanks for the work of those who strove to unite us and help us to be one with our Christian brothers and sisters in different places. And remember and know that with growth comes blessing. As we find ways today to celebrate the Feast of St John, uh, let us also remember that as a growing church, there will be more to celebrate by coming together. And let's pray together for the churches and communities of Canton, Fairwater, Kyra and Ely. Let's pray together. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 21 in your strength, the king rejoices, O Lord, and in your help, how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your help, splendour and majesty you bestow on him. You bestow on him blessings forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the steadfast love of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the earth and their children from among humankind. If they plan evil against you, if they devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Go before us, Lord Jesus Christ, with the blessings of your goodness, and guide all those you call to authority in the way of justice, the knowledge of your liberty, and the wisdom of your gentleness, for your name's sake. Amen. The New Testament reading today is taken from 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 
to 11. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Now, by this we may be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. Whoever says, I have come to know him, but does not obey his commandments, is a liar. And in such person a truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly, in this person, the love of God has reached perfection. By this we may be sure that we are in him. Whoever says, I abide in him, ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment. That is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates another believer, is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go, because the darkness has brought on blindness. Here ends the lesson. The word of life, which was from the beginning, we proclaim you. For your word which endures, we give you thanks. For your promises to which we hold, we give you thanks. For such intimacy with you, we give you thanks. For the love which from our birth around us lie, we give you thanks. For those joined together within these prayers today, we give you thanks. For those who minister your grace. For Mother Francis, Father Rees. For Reverend Jan Gould. For Father Jesse. For Reverend Emma. We give you thanks. Let us commend the world for which Christ entered in great humility to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Lord, cast your bright beams of light upon the church, that being enlightened by the teaching of your blessed apostle and evangelist St John, we may so walk in the light of your truth that we may at last attain to the light of everlasting life, through Jesus Christ, your incarnate Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope you all have a great day, even if it's a grey day. All the very best for now. Bye bye.